also a graph question, but this time they reverse it, they turbulent it. Now it's velocity here. They want you to find displacement. Huh? To find area under the graph? Ah, huh? uh, yes. But that's a bit hard to do. So what we're going to do is to recognize once again that if you want to find velocity, you have to differentiate or find the gradient of st graph. So maybe we work backwards this time. We look at all this graph down here and we try to see if we can differentiate and get this thing here. So this first graph, it looks so weird one. This one looks like cosine graph, but not exactly meh. You see cosine is like this one. Why you start here? Actually, the shape is a cosine graph. Uh, there are more functions, but for now, we, we say it's a cosine graph. And you can create an equation for it. So this one. We could say that this is upside down cos, ah, negative cos ah, omega t. But it's kind of shifted up a bit, so I just give a plus. Plus what? Ah? Plus phi. Lah. Okay, if you plus anything to a function, you shift it upwards. Dun, 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 dun. But it's, in the end of the day, it's still a cosine shape. B is a sine shape. So this one I can say, oh, I recognize this. This is a sine. Omega t. Hmm. How about the C and D? Can you all make a guess? Ah? Try to see if you can recognize the pattern. What kind of function would give this pattern or this pattern? Anyone got any ideas for C and D? So if you guess about a modulus for C, yep, it is a modulus graph. Originally, sine graph go, go like this one, right? But then why don't have negative? Why flip to positive? That's because there's a modulus. So you see this very sharp spike here. So you take modulus of sine omega t. This one is actually the sine graph like this, but you square the whole thing. So it's actually a sine omega t square. Or in other words, you can move the square inside. This is called a sine square graph. So no negative one, always in the positive. So going up and down. Anyway, we are looking at what, which one we differentiate, we will get our V, right? What is velocity up there again? Velocity here is a sine shape. So we sine. Okay. All this is already sine though. Differentiate already cannot get sine. So it has to be this one. Uh, cos shape, you differentiate, you get this one. So... This one you have to, okay lah, this one is not all these are. Uh, why all these already sign? You differentiate, it shouldn't become sign. So this is our best candidate. If you want to do a very quick check of the gradient, you can do so. At the top, gradient should be zero. Is it zero? Yes, V is zero. Check. Gradient should be the largest somewhere about here. In the positive value. Here? Yup. Gradient should be the largest negative value somewhere on the right. Here, yep, largest negative V. So that's how you can check. 